Hi, I'm Dr. Nancy Massonnier from CDC. I'd like to give you the latest update on the novel coronavirus spreading in the U.S., known as COVID-19. As of Sunday evening, March 8th, 34 states plus New York City and D.C. reported more than 500 cases. While right now our most affected states are California and Washington, the number of affected states, cases, and deaths will continue to rise. That's why I'd like to talk to you about risk. Risk can be looked at in two ways. There's risk of being exposed and getting sick from this virus, and there's risk of getting very sick or dying from illness with this virus. This virus is capable of spreading easily and sustainably from person to person. And there's essentially no immunity against this virus in the population because it's new. Based on this, it's fair to say that as the trajectory of the outbreak continues, many people in the United States will at some point in time, either this year or next, be exposed to this virus, and there's a good chance they will become sick. But again, we do not expect most people to develop serious illness. This seems to be a disease that affects adults, and most seriously, older adults. Starting at 60, there is an increased risk of death, and the risk increases with age. The highest risk of serious illness and death is in people older than 80. People with serious underlying health conditions also are more likely to develop serious outcomes, including death. I'd like to go through our recommendations for people at highest risk. Make sure you have supplies on hand, like routine medications for blood pressure and diabetes. Have enough household items and groceries so that you will be prepared to stay at home for a period. Avoid crowds, especially in poorly ventilated spaces. Travelers, particularly those with underlying health issues, should defer all cruise ship travel worldwide. We also recommend that people at higher risk avoid non-essential long plane trips. Last and most important, know what's going on in your community. I understand these recommendations may not be popular and that they may be difficult for some people. At CDC, our number one priority is the health and safety of the American people. These are the kind of recommendations I've made to my parents. Everyone has a role to play in helping to protect our family members, friends, colleagues, and neighbors who are most at risk. Check CDC's website for the latest information, cdc.gov COVID-19, and know what's going on in your community. Let's work together to protect each other.